we're back at EBS Pieces. Today we're gonna be getting to Lizzo and Chris Breezy. Let me see you, and 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 get from wall to damn wall. Lizzo wants Chris Brown to throw them cheeks up, down, left, right. Lizzo was backstage with Chris Brown at some type of event. See Chris Breezy, the light skin, possible crack addict. Cocaine addiction. I don't know. I don't be in his nostrils, but that's what the, the streets be saying. I'm telling you what the streets be saying. I ain't the streets. I'm just letting you know what the streets be saying. That's what the streets be saying. But Lizzo, she seen Chris Brazy. And I think they was in the same spot that Soldier Boy was at because we also seen Lizzo doing the, the you know, saying the Rick and Morty, the 6 9 dance, you know, saying Rick and, Rick and Morty's and all types of aliens and whatnot. So we did see Chris Breezy and Lizzo getting it in, getting the picture taken. We saw Lizzo saying, Yo, buddy, you think that you about to get a picture with me and Chris Brown? Her friend tried to get in there and she was like, Nah, buddy, you're wild and I want my solo pick. She said, Lizzo, Lizzo walked to Chris Breezy and said, you my favorite person in the effing world! And golly, I need y'all to relax because she is receiving some backlash. Nowadays, you can receive backlash for liking somebody? So you mad at me that I like Chris Brown? You mad at me that I like Chris Brown? I got you right now. I was at a function the other day. Homie asked me, who do you think is your favorite R&B artist all time? You wanna know who I said? It ain't taking me that long to say it either. I said Chris Brazy! That's Chris Brown! Chris Brown got hits! On hits! On hits! What person can beat Chris Brown in the verses? You let me know. Nobody! Post person is Usher. Nobody can beat even then! That's a, that's debatable! That's a debatable! Chris Brown beating everybody in the verses, smoking them! Any RB artist of the 20,000s and on, he's smoking them! It don't matter how much crack he do, how much cocaine he sniff. He getting it in. He beating your favorite R&B artist in a sing off and a dance off. You don't recall when we were saying that Chris Brown the closest thing to Michael Jackson? Why y'all, y'all, y'all holding this man to things he did as a child? And all the backlash. I'm sure I didn't even need to see all the backlash. I'm sure it was on Twitter. I'm sure it was on Black Twitter, where everybody like, "Yo, Lizzo, why are you supporting Chris Brown when he was probably giving Rihanna probably we saw the pictures when he was giving Rihanna the beats." No Dr. Dre, he was giving Rihanna the 107.5 light FM. You know what I'm saying? He was getting them the hits. But at the same time, I believe as well that Rihanna was doing the same thing. She Caribbean. You know what I'm saying? Caribbean girls, they always think they can fight somebody. They always think they can fight their partners. I don't know why y'all do that. Stop doing that. They do that. It's a fact. And I'm over here speaking facts. If you ain't never been with a Caribbean girl, you don't know that she be doing that. Now, will I say that I will condone Chris Brown giving her the, the 98.7 FM light FM beats by Dre's? Nah, I ain't condoning that. You know what I'm saying? But when, a, when, when Rihanna over there doing what she was doing, allegedly, when they're in a the car driving, you want us both to die. So now I got to rile you up because you wanted to die anyway. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to get riled up now because you was trying to kill us both. I'm in the car driving. You know what I'm saying? You're not even trying to give me the little sticky glue, the the the, the, the Glock Glock 3000. You trying to give us the death, death, suicide. You know what I'm saying? The 1-800-suicide. That's what you trying to do. I'm not trying to die. Why are you trying to die? I ain't on a suicide mission, you know what I'm saying? And why y'all trying to put Lizzo on a suicide mission? Every time you, every time Lizzo look, y'all want Lizzo to, to, to die, for real. Y'all want her to kill herself. Because what happened to protect black women, you know what I'm saying? She, she like Chris Brown. Chris Brown, her favorite person in the world. And you are coming at her for liking Chris Brown, bro? Your aunt, listen to R. Kelly. Your aunt still, your aunt still stepping in the name of love, I guarantee you. Your aunt is still stepping in the name of love. Your aunt still think age ain't nothing but a number. Because she be outside in the clubs, you know what I'm saying, dancing, throwing butt cheeks. You know what I'm saying? Because she think that age ain't nothing but a number. Where you think she got that from? R. Kelly, when he was out here trying to marry Aaliyah. You know what I'm saying? Like, like... If that's what it is, what it is. People are not good people. You feel what I'm saying? But they are talented mofos. Lizzo can't like Chris Brown, who is a very talented mofo. And Lizzo is also a talented mofo. You can't sing. I know you can't sing. If you got pipes, let me know in the comments down below. Then maybe you can have a discussion on this conversation. But if you don't got no damn pipes, why are you trying to tell Lizzo whose pipes she can enjoy? You know what I'm saying? She like Chris Breezy pipes. 
She like cocaine pipes. You feel what I'm saying? If the cocaine gives him extra powers, maybe I should do it too. Because I, I want to sing. You know what I'm saying? I want to sing and do backflips. You feel what I'm saying? So if you need to do cocaine to do backflips, then damn it, I might go cop some hand in Montana right now. You know what I'm saying? And go bananas, ballistic blisters. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm trying to get some blisters on my toes by how many damn backflips I could do. You feel what I'm saying? But y'all need to let up off of Lizzo. It's not that damn serious. You know what I'm saying? People do things in life. If y'all mad at Chris Brown, why you bumping Lil Dirt? Why you bumping Ruga? Why you bumping all the damn terrible people in the music industry? Everyone sucks. Everyone in the music industry has done something that is a terrible thing to another person. And it's a fact. No one is perfect. You know what I'm saying? Man, apologize. Rihanna is with a whole different individual. Who, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, and I'm sure Ace of Rocky has done some things that he he regrets in life too. But y'all, y'all pinpointed things y'all know and is in the public eye. The man apologized. He did it when he was a very young individual. Like, like, is no one allowed a second chance? It's like you you're you're you are you are you are chastised for the things you do years and years and years ago. We ain't find out that the man would well, I think I think for I I, I don't know this for a fact. This is going on top of my head. I'm just you know I be I be trying to remember what the streets be saying. And I believe the streets was saying that that he was also beating on Crucci or doing bad things to Crucci. You know what I'm saying? Chris Brown might have some things some things going on in his head. You know what I'm saying? Like Kanye said, name one genius that ain't crazy. You know what I'm saying? If you if you been a creative person, bro, that man that man crazy in one way, shape, or form. And it, it is what it is. Like you have to know that going in. You know what I'm saying? You gotta know that going into relationship. Yo, my boyfriend may be bananas. He might try to spin kick me one day if we get into an argument. You gotta know that. Don't get into a relationship with a creative if you're not trying to get spin kicked, especially one as athletic as Chris Brown. This man is one of the best basketball players in the music industry, and he could do a backflip standing up. I'm not messing with a person that can do a backflip standing up that also probably does coke. You know what I'm saying? Like, that man is on a thousand twenty four eight. You know what I'm saying? I'm not messing with you. So, y'all saying all this crap behind your screens, I guarantee you if Chris Brown is in front of your face doing a back backflip standing up you're not touching that man you're not looking at him and you probably don't got the grip on you you feel what i'm saying most people don't got the grip and most people don't got the, the balls to pull the grip to kill somebody you feel what i'm saying so you're not gonna be out here shooting this man because he's doing backflips standing up and lizzo like him let lizzo like who lizzo want to like you feel what i'm saying lizzo likes good music I doubt that she over here praising Chris Brown for giving Rihanna the beats by Dre. You know what I'm saying? Nobody is praising anybody for giving anybody the beats by Dre. But we can acknowledge that people are talented. Okay? Y'all just forgave Kanye for his whole Trump thing. He's still telling y'all he like Trump. You understand? He still did not back down from that, right? Kanye is still telling y'all he love Trump. He's just doing it in a different way. He being more eclectic about it. So y'all love, because y'all love the music. Y'all love the eclectic music. You know what I'm saying? Y'all love the eclectic music. Y'all love when people give y'all good music. When Chris Brown drops another go crazy. And I know you did the go crazy challenge. I know you did the go crazy challenge. I know you did. I know you, you hopped out the car and you, and you, you know what I'm saying? Did whatever the dance was. You know what I'm saying? I know you did it. I know you did it. Because you were TikTok hopping, trend hopper. You know what I'm saying? You hopped on trends like everybody else. You like the song. It's like... <laughs> That's all you gotta do, man. Put out good music, people gonna forgive you. You know what I'm saying? I forgive you, Chris Brown. You know what I'm saying? I hope Rihanna forgive you too. It's, it, it hurts people inside when you keep regret, not regret, when you keep a malice inside. It don't it, it make you die faster. You wanna die faster? I know you don't wanna die faster. I know you don't wanna die faster for being upset for no reason, and you don't wanna die from a Chris Brown spin kick. So you need to relax. You feel what I'm saying? Relax with a couple X's at the end. Let Lizzo be Lizzo, damn it. Stop coming at her for being overweight. Stop coming at her for being Lizzo. Let Lizzo be Lizzo. Let Lizzo like Chris Brown, damn it. I like Chris Brown. Chris Brown, my favorite RB artist all damn time. You got a problem with it? I don't know what to damn tell you. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like the damn video. Make sure you also check out EBN TV on Roku. You can easily type in EBN TV on your Roku device. Also available on all mobile platforms. TV, mobile, online. You can check it out. Comedy four hours eight plus hours of content over there make sure you watch it and you check it out make sure once again you subscribe to ebm media you check out the merchandise available down below we're gonna have more more merch items available you know what I'm saying as the season continues tis the damn season to rock ebn ladies and gentlemen my name is taylor ojas as you can see make sure you also check out the vlog channel and follow the igs once again my name is taylor ojas and you're watching ebn speaks